Hi, my name's Casey. I'm a lifelong Republican. I'm a veteran. I uh, voted for my first Republican president in 1988 for George H.W. Bush. And I've voted Republican since then. And going into the last election, I was going to vote independently. I didn't like Hillary at all. And I knew just sort of deep down that Trump was uh, a terrible narcissist. And at the last minute, I changed my mind and I went with Trump thinking that the office would change him. And I knew immediately that we were completely screwed. Uh, you know, when he sat there at the CIA in front of the wall of stars and talked about the size of his crowd. I, I knew right there the office wasn't going to change him. He's, you know, irreparably broken, uh, probably from childhood but he doesn't care about anybody but himself. And uh, what we're seeing now is the cost of, uh, you know, sort of forgetting that character counts when we vote for a president. It's really important. We sort of lost track of that. And uh, crises sort of bring that out. And right now it's bringing it out with terrible incompetence and, uh, you know, basically putting his own interests in front of those of the country, which shouldn't surprise anyone. The one thing that really bothers me isn't what he's doing, because that's predictable. It's the people that blindly follow him, the people that see the immoral behavior and, uh, and the incompetence, and they continue uh, to follow him religiously. So I'll be voting for Joe Biden gladly, happily, all I want is calm, uh, you know, no more chaos. I'm not worried about what his platform is. I just want some competence. I want our alliances to be restored. I want us to go back to some sort of state of normalcy. If he's reelected, we are in for some serious, serious hurting. Not that we aren't already, but I, I, I shudder at the thought. And in fact, it's it's such a scary thought to me that if he is reelected, you'll probably find me down in Melbourne, Australia or something like that. So go, Joe.